Watch you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at how to install the Android operating system into a virtual machine. We're going to be using VirtualBox. Now this is going to be a great way if you've never used Android before and you're looking at buying an Android device, i.e. a phone or a tablet or something like that and you want to see what the operating system looks like before you actually go out and purchase uh, and spend a lot of money on a device okay so you're going to need a piece of software first to do this we're going to need a uh, virtual box we're going to be using virtual box here but you can use any other type of virtual um, sort of software really virtual machine software but this is the one we're going to be using now you're also going to need to get hold of uh, a android software and i will put the links in the description so you can download that okay so let's get started so i've already installed my virtual machine uh, software here VirtualBox now if you don't know how to use VirtualBox then you can check out some of my other uh, videos on how to download this and install it um, but first off we're going to go new to create a new operating system here and what we need to do is take change the actual type here from Windows to Linux because uh, Android's a Linux based operating system and also we need to change this to Linux 2.6 okay and now we need to put in our name. You can put in what name you like. I'm going to keep it simple and uh, I'm going to call this Android. Go next. And now we need to select our memory size. I'm going to choose uh, 1024. That's enough for uh, what we need. Click on create. And uh, we need to go next here. Leave it on VDI. That's fine. And uh, dynamically allocated. That's fine as well and here you can uh, select what size you want uh, I'm going to leave this as 8 gigs but you can reduce that if you wish okay so now we need to put in our ISO image and I'll show you how to do that I'm going to go to settings and then we want to click on storage and you can see it's empty at the moment and we need to click on this and then we need to select the actual virtual uh, CD or DVD drive okay now we need to choose our actual image what we want to load up once you've done that you can then click start So now we've got this box popping up and what we need to do here, we're not going to run this as a live CD, we want to run this as an actual installation. So we're going to install this. And then push enter. Okay, so once we get to this window, what we need to do here next is to go to new. And you can use your actual cursor keys here to actually do this. You need to use these arrow keys on your keyboard and we're going to click on new and then you can see we've got primary and logical we want primary and you can see the size of it here and we're going to just click enter here and once we've done that we need to do right so we're going to go down to where it says right let me just use the cursor keys like so and then click on write and it will say are you sure you want to write this partition to the table we're going to type yes push enter it's now writing the table to the disk okay and what we want to do next and make it bootable I'm going to click on bootable here and you can see now that that's all been set so we now can uh, quit out of this and now we can select the SDA1 click enter and we want EXT3 click on that we want to say yes to this just push enter it's now formatting that drive 
Now we need to, we don't want to skip this, we want to actually go to yes here and uh, install the bootloader grub. I'm going to say yes to that as well. Okay, so now we need to run our Android uh, ISO. So I'm going to click OK here. And then now it should start to load our Android operating system. Okay, so what we want to do here now is uh, we want to select English. You haven't, if you're having trouble with the mouse, you can actually come up to where it says Disable Mouse. And uh, we want to click on Start. And let that load in. Okay, so it wants us to select our uh, Wi-Fi here. I'm just going to leave this for now. But if you've got Wi-Fi here, it will detect it. So what we're going to do is uh, click Skip here. I'm going to skip anyway. It's asking, do we have a, a Google account? So I'm going to say, say no here. I'm going to say, say not now. And then basically we can go through the motions here. Leave this as is for now. You can put in some personalized information here, like your name if you wish. Go next. And then next again. And then finish. And then click OK here. And there we are at the uh, desktop of our Android operating system. And you can see this is basically meant for a touch screen. So you've got your home button here and you've got your back button here there's no recent apps installed but if you want to install apps you can actually do that yourself if you wish and it wants you to tap on the screen so we're going to click OK here so here we have our actual apps area here and you can also have your widgets and stuff like that so it's just like an Android device but you've got it installed on a virtual box. So I think that's uh, going to be about it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, hit that subscribe button, guys. That will keep you up to date for any time I upload any new videos. And also hit that like button, guys. It really does help me out. And I shall see you again in the next video. So thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now.